Hi guys, it's Fiona. Now I am absolutely passionate about helping you to keep your horses healthy and happy with herbs and natural therapies. And I have been helping people like you for about 20 years. And if you look there, I've also learned lots of other natural therapies to help you keep your horses healthy and happy. Today, I thought we would talk about my book. That's just one of the books, Secret Herbal Recipes for Horses. And I thought I'd just show you through the interior a little bit so you can get an idea of what's going on in this book and see if it's going to help you with your horses and keep them healthy and happy. So I've taken some screenshots from inside the book Her Secret Herbal Recipes for Horses. It's a really good introductory book for people that don't know a lot about herbs and horses and it's dedicated to the health and happiness of the horses of the world. There's an idea of the contents, so we look at equipment, preparations, how to make the preparations, using the remedies, growing herbs at home, harvesting, and then a materia medica at the end. So the equipment that you will need, you'll probably find in your kitchen at home, or it'll be easy to get hold of. I actually keep separate equipment for my own cooking and for making the remedies for my horses. I just want to make sure that the uh, containers, saucepans, etc. are nice and clean and separate and don't have any food, food residue in them so I have separate equipment. Chapter 2 talks about preparations and ways of using the herbs, for example comp compresses, making creams, decoctions, gels, infusions, liniments. And then in Chapter 3 we actually go into making all those various preparations so you have an idea of the different ways that you can use herbs with the horses. And here's an example. So there's a water infusion and that shows you how to use a basic water infusion which is just a cup of tea. There's a bit on ointments showing you that how you can use ointments. I love ointments. They're very very useful for all sorts of things with horses. After we've gone through all the different preparations, we have a little look at taking care of your leather, leather so you can make our preparations to help keep that nice and supple and moist and clean. And there's a section on shampoos and conditioners. It's a good idea to think about using something really natural on your horse's coat because all the chemicals get absorbed through the skin and into the bloodstream and you want to keep your horses healthy and happy. Then chapter four, we go into actually using the remedies on your horses. It's a really simple chapter. It gives an outline on various ailments for your horses. There's an example, abscess of the hoof and some herbs that you could use. Not in a lot of detail. The herbal hoof has an awful lot more detail if you want to know about hoof and leg problems. Then chapter five talks about growing the herbs at home, uh, best ways to fertilize it, making natural fertilizers, best ways to plant them, and all those bits and pieces for you. Then chapter six, once you've grown the herbs, you'll need to know when to harvest them, if you want to dry them and store them, how to do that. And at the end, there's the Materia Medica. Materia Medica is a list of the herbs in quite a bit of detail. Um, for example, here's calendula, so it gives you an idea of calendula, its history, its growing, when to harvest it, and then the next page tells you what things you could use calendula for. So, Secret Herbal Recipes for Horses is available on Amazon.com. Uh, all around the world, all the different countries have it there. You can get it as an ebook, or you can get it as a print version book. So hopefully you'll know if this book will help you to keep your horses healthy and happy.